everyone! I'm Fate Touched, and this is me playing games. And we are playing a new game in a new series by a company we do all the time. And she's off punk. This is by the same people who do Haunted Hotel and Mystery Trackers. And we are playing this series and those other two series at the same time because eventually... <laughs> no, I don't think so. Eventually, all three series meet up and become one game series. So I thought it would be fun to kind of play all of them at the same time, that we might have to back off on Haunted Hotel after we finish the one we're on, because we have to catch up with these two. This one is from 2011, so we're going back a bit. It is called The Bride, and that is literally all I know about it. I assume something terrible happens, because... That's generally how this works. And that is supposed to be Jesus and isn't. And that's a little messed up, I think. Is it the, the Pieta? One of the most famous sculptures ever. Except I think the head's supposed to be over here. I'm not positive about that, but this is generally not a girl. And I don't think there's a Cupid by her knee either. Right, okay, enough commentary from me. Let's go. Ooh, casual, obviously. Not quite at... Wedding invitation. Witnesses say a dark figure pushed her into the river on her wedding day. The family mansion was plunged into impenetrable grief. But her body was never found. I must solve this mystery. No, I don't need help. So I'm just a random person who's going to solve a mystery. Why did she have an invitation to her own wedding? It's a bit weird. Unless she's like a friend. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Maybe a friend or a relative. The clock's going backwards. Let's check out the hidden object puzzle first. Ah, okay. So semi-modern puzzle. And it's so nice to have a, a, a decent-esque size screen. Not full screen yet, but it's so much better than the Mystery Case Files ones. And I'm still just talking. I haven't been talking for like three days because I was sick and my throat hurt and stuff. So I'm probably just gonna like talk a whole bunch <laughs> for this. Be warned. All right, apple, magnifying glass, ring. Boss relief. Clippers. Oh, I said, forgot bread. Bread. Clippers. Paintbrush mousey. He's a cute mouse. Screwdriver. Wow, that's an easy one. Frog. Oh, there's the apple. A photo and a strawberry. Frog. Froggy. And a photo. All right, so a ring, a paintbrush. Oh, just a ring and a paintbrush. We, we actually had strawberries, like, middle of last week, because it was my brother's birthday, and his favorite thing is chocolate and strawberries. But he was born in January, so they are always out of season. And it's nice to have them in the middle of winter, because a box of strawberries that is big enough to feed my family is $10 this time of year. Yes. Also, I am not looking for anything. Oh, there's a paintbrush. That's not the paintbrush? Oh, I guess that's probably too big to be a paintbrush. Like a broom, maybe? And a ring. Oh, there it is. You found... You found all the hidden clues in this location. This object looks useful. There's butterflies. I need a small key to open the lock. What a strange coincidence. The clock hands resemble spear tops. I don't actually see clock hands. Do you? I saw them from the far away picture. Huh. It's a bit weird. Okay, thank you. Basement gates. If there's no key, all I can do is snip the chain, but that's impossible without a tool. Correct. All right, well, this goes here. Mm -hmm. 
I offer you a rare opportunity. Click to continue. I will return you to the moments contained in Luisa's memories, and step by step, you will uncover the mystery of her death. You will have the chance to save Luisa. If you fail in your attempts to pass through her memories at any time, your soul will be mine. Are you willing to take that risk to save your sister? Okay, sister. The first thing you must do is go to Luisa's bedroom and find her diary. Okay. I have played this demo before because I remember that dude. I am 80% sure he is in all of this series. And... It gets way weirder than this. Key. That's it? Okay. Fireplace. I'll have to put out the fire. Yeah, it's probably a good plan. There's an object behind the flame. I mean, there's a thingy right there you could probably grab it with. Reach into the fire. No, that would hurt. Um, this is, does this say Louisa? Nope. Okay. Door. The door to Luisa's room is locked. Oh, do we have like a time frame on when this was having? Or happening, rather? I need to look for the treble clef. Okay. I see the police are still investigating my sister's death. You'll have to cut through this to gain access to the hall. It's police tape! You just push it down or crawl underneath. Are you serious? Oh my gosh, these games, I swear. Okay, does anybody see a keyhole in this either? Like, that's a little key. That's a door key, okay. Nope, I guess this is the door key. That was a cool sound effect. There's a jewelry box. There is an inset of a rose on top of the box. He's a pillow. Aha! You have done well. You have entered the very day on which John Gray proposed to Louisa. The ring has always been the symbol of faith and devotion, but for you it will be the gateway to the next memory. Okay. I think the demon was talking about this ring, but it's locked inside the jewelry box. Isn't he just about to open it? Ah, this bracelet was a birthday present to Louisa from our mother, but where is the ruby? I don't know. I'm kind of confused about that, too. I definitely played this before, but I don't remember anything about it except him being in it. And I thought that was weird back then, too, whenever that was. I... And a calm pack? Nope, there it is. Yeah, you'd think, right? Though, I think... Like, I don't know, 50 to 60% of them tend to be the sort where they have to listen to the, uh, the rules that they do. So, like, if they say, oh, well, if you do this, then you win and I don't get your soul, they usually stick to that. I think that's a demon thing. All right, what else am I looking for? A wooden figure. You? Yep. Perfume, snowflake, mushroom. Do mushroom. Perfume and a snowflake. There's a shell. Oh, I need a shell. I knew that. <laughs> Perfume and a snowflake. I know what I'm doing. You can't prove otherwise, probably. Isn't that cool? That kind of looks like a pheasant, actually. Kind of a weird bird to make in that type of a thing. It's still not the perfume. Is this the perfume? Yes, okay. And a snowflake. A snowflake I have not seen. You're a weird bird. <laughs> you're a weird bird. No, you're a weird bird. Souls are overrated. Thanks for the input. 
Oh, there's Snowflake. Okay, we found half of a sun. Torch. The fire is so strong it could burn wet wood. Okay. Is that important? Everyone has one and they taste chalky. <laughs> You're weird. Oh, look! The church has a skeleton on in front of it. Why? I can start the mechanism if I find the missing piece. Why does this church have a uh, skeleton hung in front of it? Oh, I remember this bit because I don't like bugs. The colony of termites has centered at the uh, settled at the entrance of the church. That's not generally how like Northern Europe termites work. Door is locked. It's impossible to open without a handle. Okay, was it still locked, though? Oh yeah, I remember this too. <laughs> I see the key, but the priest won't give it to me as I can't unclench his fingers. The priest looks aggravated. Maybe it's the loss of his medallion. Yeah, this, this is a very bizarre one. I didn't play the whole thing because I don't own it, but I do remember this now. The gravestone bears no dedication. It seems to be waiting for someone's name. Ooh, a machete on the floor of the church basement. Sure. A spot for medallion is empty. Spot, okay. This is a very weird church, guys. I can't reach the medallion behind the bars. I need to knock it down. Okay, can I do that with the machete? I bet I could. It looks like it's tied on with a string. I have a very long, sharp machete. Fine. Whoever lived here previously could have hidden a message in the bottle. I mean, they could have. That would also work. And for some reason, they have a tanagram to lock their storage closet. I mean, the funny thing with this is, it's like, I could totally do X, but they're not going to let me try it because the game is a butt. All right, let's see. Rip. Oh, this is where the sun goes, but I only have half of it. And do I have a screwdriver? No, I could use that. That would be hard, but it would probably work, depending on how big the screws are. Uh, the bush grows everywhere. I should cut a passage through it. Get a coin. Yep, that's right. The grave of my beloved mother. I miss her so much. It's been robbed. It looks like someone's been digging a new grave. No, it doesn't. It's a doggy. It's a mean doggy. If I give the dog something of Luisa's, Mabel will let me peek inside the doghouse. Why? Because this is his memory? Or her memory, rather? That's kind of a weird thing to assume. I like that we're using the machete as, like, a machete. The amount of leaves covering the fountain, I can tell that there's no one taking care of the grounds here. Really? It's possible that Louisa was hiding something from strangers here. Why am I making all of these weird, random assumptions? How did the chain get there? I need something long to take it down. I had a machete. Oh, I still have a machete. Eh. That might not be long enough. This is a very tall statue. Wait. Aw. Hmm. There's a whatever that is, and a squirrel. Oh, it's a chipmunk. What a cute little chipmunk. I bet it's hungry enough to be coaxed out of its hole. It said something, well, it is in fact a creepy doll, so. Me and Luisa. The tree preserved a trace from my childhood. Who is me anyway, though? The tree house is too high, I can't jump up. No, duh. You probably 
Well, that looks tricky to climb. That definitely looks like it needs a ladder. All right, so what do I have here? I do not have a SpongeBob font. I don't know what I should be doing. Hmm. Do I want to grab the termites with the cup? No. Can I stab at them? No. Okay, so I have a puzzle piece. Do I have any puzzles? Have I found any puzzles besides that gear one? Where's the gear one? Here it is. Did I need one or two pieces for this? Okay, just one. All right. You're making me try every single one, aren't you? Why? 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 But why? <sighs> okay, that's the dead priest's medallion. Actually, isn't he a cardinal? Because he's wearing red? Okay. That's not creepy. Ooh, look, a halibird. This ancient weapon is stuck for sure, but if I can saw out the handle, it might be useful. Or I could chop it out. No? I guess that's my long pointy thing I've been looking for. All right, what did I get out of that? I got half a heart. That doesn't actually help me, does it? What do I need a goblet for? I need whatever that is. That's this. Can I put it in yet? No, okay, so I have to find all the pieces for things in this one. All right, do I have a map? I do not have a map. I do have a book. I'm not reading all of this. Am I? My sister was only 13 when I saw her last and she begged to go with me. Our mother had died tragically. Our father had disappeared under strange circumstances. I had no choice. I left Louisa in the care of our nanny and left for school. Years passed. The very day when we were to come of age, my twin sister, my de delicate and naive Louisa, was going to get married. But on the day of her wedding, witnesses say a dark figure pushed her into the river. They never found her body, but it's assumed she's dead. I must find out what happened. So this is her twin brother? Oh, no, no, because she's a girl. Did, we're, we're the brother. I would bet money. I bet. I might be wrong. How strange it is to return home after all these years. An imposing creature in the fireplace room startled me. He looks otherworldly, and he seems to possess strange powers. He invited me to make a deal with him, and even though it goes against my better judgment, I can't refuse his offer if it means bringing me closer to solving Luisa's murder. If I am to believe this demon, Luisa's diary, diary will open a pathway to her memories and to the truth about what happened to her. My eerie visitor vanished, leaving a key. The demon's prediction was correct. Luisa's diary set me down in the exact moment in time when Gray proposed to her. It's wonderful to see my sister alive and happy, but it seems I'll need to go back even further in time to find the truth. The engagement ring is my next key. Or forward in time. The skeleton of a hapless thief hangs under the arch in front of the church, the object of his theft shining still around his neck. They churches don't do that. I mean, even when churches did stuff like killing people, they burnt them at the stake and buried them. They did not hang them in front of the church. And if he stole the thing, why didn't they take it away from him and give it back? Why did they hang him there with it? Uh, a whole colony, colony of termites has settled near the church entrance. This wild species can eat more than a kilo of wood in less than two minutes. No, it can't. Dangerous neighbors. Why didn't someone get rid of them? There's a tiny room. <laughs> There's a tiny room in the church basement, probably the cemetery caretaker's room. Judging by the parrot skeleton, whoever lived there has been long gone. A sar snarling cuss of a dog guards the cemetery? Huh. 
It's hard to believe, but I think that's the mean and nasty adult version of the cute little puppy Luisa used to play with when we were kids. A whiff of her scent might remind him of happier times. Okay, see, this is the information I need when I'm seeing stuff. Silly girlhood scrawl. You'd think I would have carved both our names in the tree. Ah, but seeing it gives me so much beautiful memories. How I miss my sister. Maybe we are a girl? If we're... Why did we leave our sister and go to school without her? How rude! My mother died so young and didn't get the chance to say goodbye, and I didn't get the chance to say goodbye to her. Her death was so mysterious, and Louisa and I were young and had never lost anyone before. Mother missed seeing us grow into young women. Yeah, no, we're both women. So the whole, I'm a boy, so I get to go to school and you don't, that doesn't even figure in. Yeah, no. Unless, like, we got accepted to school and she didn't because she's dumb or something. I don't know. Uh, can I turn these? Yes, okay. Uh, I don't understand how this is- Oh, it's turning backwards. Oh my gosh. Okay. That- that's fine. That's fine. Oh, okay. What do I want? I have a whole bunch of these. Oh wait. That one's stuck. I guess that one's the right place. So if it doesn't get stuck, it's not in the right place? Yeah, no, they snap into place. Interesting. Well, that makes me happy because I don't want to figure this out that much. Oh, and the outside line is on there too. Maybe that was because I was playing it on easy. Dude locked the cabinet with the rake in it. All right, whatever. People in these games are so weird. Bush. Wild Blackthorn, that's not something I want to touch with my bare hands. Yeah, probably not. Why does that bird nest have an acorn in it? It's weird. Oh, let's rake off the fountain. Wait, where's the rake? Oh. <laughs> I knew that. Yes, right. That is either a tiny nest or a huge acorn. You are correct. Okay, a Marrakesh doll. That's a mosquito, but I need an ant. There's the ant. Did we figure out when this is happening? Because that looks... Actually, I don't know what that is. Is that a painting set? That might be a painting set. I thought that was like some sort of electronic. Uh, let's see. Bowtie medallion? Is that this? Okay. Peas. There's a caterpillar. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too, but it's always hard to tell in these games. Wait, I just saw the bee. I was staring at it. There it is. And a bunny rabbit. And a light bulb. And Sagittarius. Wait, Sagittarius? That's Sagittarius. And a snail. Okay, a bow tie, peas, and a mitten. Bow tie. Where's the peas? I have apple. That could be a really big pea. Oh, wait, is that them? Yep. And a mitten. It is mitten weather in my area of the world at the moment. It is very cold. It be winter for sure. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> is this chipmunk gonna hit me with a slingshot? Okay, now I have a slingshot. Why do I need a slingshot? There's nothing up here to like... Yeah, no, I need like a ladder or something. That's not like something I can hit. And this I need like a long stick or something for. That won't work for that because I have to lift it over the top. I can hit the dog with a slingshot. We got him down. Huh, I don't remember anything being up high. No, I'm not going to hit the puppy. I was kidding. Huh. Hit your sister. I could hit the bird with the sl Why? Why didn't I just hit it with the machete? <sighs> or just like shake the cage. Yeah, right. Uh, okay. Nope, still. Oh, the, uh, oh gosh darn it. Okay. 
Uh, let's see. The, the this I think this is supposed to be a dragon or a horse. I honestly can't tell. I still can't tell. I don't know what that is. Alright, now I have a torch. Why do I need a torch? The torch right here. Now I have a torch. I don't know why I need a torch. Is that to kill the termites? No. All right. No, the fire does not go in the pocket. I'm not gonna light the dog on fire. Wait, did I get both pieces? Yeah, now I have the sun. Okay. All right, which version of this is this? Slide the squares around the board using the arrows to the left. Each square should end up on top of its matching colored circle. Many of you will know, I'm not a particular fan of this game. See? <laughs> yeah. No. It's a very weird sound effect. Also, why was that buried in a grave? It's kind of creepy. Also, how on earth would you get that up there? The lamp is full of oil. Okay. That sort of makes sense. I don't know why I didn't just... One year, we covered this wall in our favorite poems. I can't believe they're still here. Why wouldn't they still be here? There's other inscriptions on the wall. I hate you. Who could have done such a thing? Yeah, I noticed that. I spent a whole summer painting this portrait of Louisa. How could someone spoil it? No, she is not very smart. Considering she got into school, she is definitely not very smart. The lock is covered with rust. Okay, the rust remover on that. This strange wooden chest, I'm not sure how to open it, but I definitely need to see what's inside. How about a machete? I'm glad I've gotten to keep the machete, even though they're not letting me use it for anything. Right. Okay, so that's the box. I need rust remover for that. Those are sneakers, aren't they? These? Those are sneakers? Maybe they're not. <laughs> those are very sneakers. Okay. Alright, well, that was interesting. We have a jar now. Ooh, I bet the jar is for the stupid termites. It doesn't have a lid, though. Why would they just go in the jar? Okay, now I have a bottle of termites. Is that to get this? Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, I guess I don't want them to eat the handle. What else do I have that's... Oh, wait, the box in the treehouse. That seems also like a terrible idea, but I bet that's what it's for. <laughs> that's not how termites work. And it's just tools. And the only thing I took was a saw. I bet there's other stuff in there I could use, like a screwdriver. Yeah, this, this game is all kinds of funny. All right, let's see here. I missed something completely there, didn't I? Weren't we going to saw the halibird out of the chair so we could have a halibird? Did we just saw the end of the halibird off? <sighs> that, that even would have made a better hook. What do you mean that won't work? It would have worked when it was a halibird. The heck do I- Oh, I need that for the freaking ice axe. No. Let's see if we can do this now. Come on, I want the inventory. Thank you. Don't want to damage the statue. All right. Nope, can't do that either. 
There was a hole here, but somebody covered it. Is that for this? Could you... Um... Can we finish, please? Thank you. Ooh, that's very pretty. That makes sense to be hidden there. But also, now I don't have the halibird, and I could have used it. Wait, I don't want the bracelet, I just want her glove? Why do I need a glove? <sighs> this game is very strange. Alright, what do I need to do in here? <laughs> yes, she is! Alright, there's nothing in here. Oh, I need to get this out. That's not gonna help me. I need a corkscrew. Someone is slamming doors in my house. And we got this guy. There's nothing else here. Oh, the glove is for the doggy. Yes, apparently that was her friend, the dog. Okay, let's see. Cat chain key. Do I need that? No. I need a pumpkin. Alright, where is a key cat? I need a key cat. There's a kitty cat. And a chain. And a key. And a stork. That's weird. And a corkscrew. Yes, I do need a corkscrew. And a lock. And a bone. And the moon. Moon. There's the moon. And an arrow. And a hand. That's kind of creepy. I already clicked on that once. Alright. Oh, there's a corkscrew. Alright. Key, lock, stork, arrow. There's the stork. There's the lock. There's the key. Where's the arrow? Is that an arrow? No, that's those, um, flaggy things. Bunting. That's the name of it. Which is a very strange word for a, a, a line of flags, but whatever. What am I looking for? An arrow. That's not an arrow. Huh. Nope. Hints on the wrong side. Oh wow, I did not see that. Okay, I got a corkscrew! Woohoo! Now I can see what's in the giant bottle in the church's basement. For some reason. I don't know how I'm gonna get anything out of that bottle. It's gigantic. That was a good sound effect. There was a nuts. There was some oil in the bottle, and it flowed into this place. Why did you dump it out into the? All right, now I have oil, and that entire thing is going to, you know, fill up the bottom of the church, and then we can set it on fire. I, I'm really thinking we are. Like this is impressive. How you're you're. Being. Oh, and this is what this is for. Okay. Okay, I, it's probably not going to lock into place then. Oh no, that one did. So then I'm just not doing this right, apparently. How is that not the bottom corner? Oh, it's not a corner. <laughs> That'd be why. I knew that. Okay, I don't know where the last corner is. That doesn't go there. Is it the top or the bottom? Oh, that's the corner. Thank you. It's a very weird thing to be in a treehouse. Is that Puss in Boots? Hang on, before I place this, that looks like Puss in Boots. Huh. Cat Sheep Safety Pin. That's not a safety pin, that's a pin pin. Alright, let's see. So we need a cat and a sheep. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? And a dragon. Oh, there's a cat. It's a key. And a dragon. Beep beep goes the sheep. <laughs> that was my fault. I, for some reason, remembered that the other day, and now it's stuck in everyone's heads. <laughs> Alright. A boomerang and a ring. Is that a ring? No. And a heart. And a snake. 
Is that a snake? Yes. And a sapphire. And a hook. And a ladybug. Ladybug. And a trident. I totally saw the trident. There it is. That's a trident. Okay, thank you. So, a sheep and a safety pin. And a ring and a boomerang. Sheep and a safety pin. Is that the safety pin? Yep. Okay. Where's the sheep and the boomerang? Oh, there's the boomerang. That is a tiny little boomerang, or else some of this stuff is really big. I wonder if boomerangs have to be a certain size to work. Or if it's just the shape. Like, could you make a tiny little boomerang? I'm getting distracted. <laughs> I already need a sheep and a ring. There's a horsey. Horsies are not sheep. They do not have wool. Oh, there's a sheep. I was looking at the picture weird. Is that the ring? Yep. Okay. I got a hook. Look at that. Couldn't have used that halibird. I did take them today, but I've been stuck in my room for three days because I was sick and we weren't sure like what kind of sick I was. Luckily, it was just regular every day. I hate being sick sick, but I, I am very full of energy because that's what I was doing for a while. It's a pretty ring. Okay. What a gorgeous ring. Perhaps it provides the portal to the next memory. Didn't you tell me that's what it was going to do? The diamond is, be is as beautiful as it is hard, and it allows me to see what is hidden. Thank you for playing the demo. That wasn't even an hour. All right. Hang on, everyone. Let me go purchase that real quick. Okay, so we jumped back out, and now we have a machete. Oh, they t let us take the machete with us, and we have a ring. And that's going to help us get the next piece of the puzzle. Nothing but a key can help here. Okay. Oh my gosh, are we going to use the machete to get rid of the police tape? For heaven's sakes. <sighs> police tape is made out of tape. It's not even sticky on the other side. The glass is dirty. I better clean it with away the dust and cobwebs. Okay. Well, I don't have anything to do that. Oh, they finally took my machete. I guess it broke with that terribly hard police tape. I think this key is long gone. I'll need to use whatever I've got on hand. The chandelier layer is too high for me to reach. I could hit it with the shovel. I don't know exactly what I want to do with it. Wait, how am I going to cut past this police tape? Please block the patch. If I cut the tape so I can go farther. <laughs> What about the machete I just had? Oh my gosh. And a ladder, or I could crawl under the thing. Ew. Now, what's strong enough to cut glass? A diamond, but is that aquarium full of water? I guess not. You never know when you might need some sand. I should collect some. I mean, this is to put the fire out, but like, I should know then. Oh, okay, I need more numbers. I mean, okay, so, so stepping back a moment. We are in currently, current times. Uh, well, current times inside the game. And our sister died what? Close my door. Close it all the way. Where was I? Oh yes, this is current times in the timeline of the game. We are not in the future, we are not in the past. And our sister was just murdered on the day of her wedding, which I assume was in the very recent past because the police are quartering off parts of the house. But... If that's the case, why is the house that she lived in looking like this? 
did she just like live in one room and not do anything else with the rest of the house? Also, if we aren't in modern times, why is there police tape? They didn't have police tape back in ye old Victorian times. Oh, this is for the... It looks like it was abandoned a lot. Why is there a butterfly up there? That's kind of messed up. Like, I don't understand the situation. Even this room, like the wallpaper and stuff is peeling. And this has got furniture that's covered. If she just, the cobwebs on her bed. If she just died, why are there cobwebs and stuff everywhere? And if we aren't in modern times, which I actually can't tell if we're in modern times or not, then why? No, because we're her sister and we came and she said that the police are still searching. That's why the tape is up, right? Oh, I still need one more. Okay. Right. Where did I need that? Oh, that was in the bedroom. I don't know. It's very weird. Another game that could not pick a timeline. Probably because of my schooling, yeah. Oh, this is nice. Let's see. War. Oh, War and Peace. King. Cow. Moo. Cow. Hey, there was Ghost Lady. I saw that. A swan. Grapes. I just saw the grapes. There they are. A clothespin. Well, the Eiffel Tower. Eh, bah, bah. The Eiffel Tower is here. When did the Eiffel Tower go up? That's like. Or when did War and Peace get written? Because both of those things are here. What am I doing? Uh, Santa Claus. Stop blinking like that. It's annoying me. Oh, King, right there. Santa Claus. An elephant. Elephant. Candy cane. Puzzle. Okay, 1889. Alright, and what about War and Peace? A crab. Did I see a crab? 1867. Okay, so then probably the late 1800s then. I would imagine. Okay, I need a clothespin and a crab. Clothespin and a crab. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, there's the clothespin. Doo -doo. I thought I saw a crab, but I might be making that up. Yeah, no, I agree. Was There wasn't police tape in the late 1800s, was there? When did police tape get invented? Oh, there's the crab. I did see it. I'm not crazy. Good. I mean, there certainly wasn't yellow plastic police tape, but there might have been like other kinds of police tape. I actually don't know. 1960. Okay, never mind then. So we're either in 1960 or the late 1800s, like 1880s, 1890s. Good to know. Oh, we get to do this puzzle. All right, fine. Uh, is it going to tell me if they're in the right place? Because if it isn't going to tell me if they're in the right place, then this is not going to work out well. 15, so that's... Uh... Okay, good. Yeah, I, I can handle this then. Not that I'm any good at it, but it's a thing I could do. I can read stuff. No, I got it enough. I had it the last time. I had everything except the diagonals. I'm good, thanks. I see your eagerness to save Louisa, but do you have enough strength to survive her the next memory? We didn't do anything dangerous in the first one. Some enchanted evening. This is the night your sister met the, that man, Gray. Louisa presented the distinguished gentleman her handkerchief, a token of her interest. Find it. Is this an outdoor stage? I guess? The handkerchief the demon mentioned, but I can't reach it. Jump down there and get it. Yes, yeah, no, his character design is very interesting. 
What was that? A cat. Prompt box. Who boarded up the prompt box? I should destroy the boards. Okay. We used to amuse ourselves with little bonfires when we were children. These burn these boards will burn well. <laughs> okay. Um, you have nothing going on, right? Okay, so that's to the basement. Let's go in the basement. This isn't the basement, this is under the stage. These two were friends with Vinny. <laughs> Mechanism for lifting. Ah, the elevator instructions. The engine lifts and lowers the platforms. Okay, I'm I'm gonna say that we are definitely in like the 1890s. The only way to get this hook out is to break the boards. Couldn't I just kind of like flick it around? What do I have with me? Oh, I have a shovel. Oh, okay. I can only take the handkerchief up by lower the. Why don't you just jump down there? It's like four feet. <sighs> We use sacks to pull the theater curtain. Were we in the theater? The engine mechanism is a bit rusty. Okay. One button is missing, of course. This rope holds the sack. I need something to burn through it. This is very weird. All right, I guess we're going to the vineyard. Now, what the heck is this nonsense? That is 100% a modern day fire box. And it's locked. Because for some reason in these games, everybody locks fire boxes. A feather duster. A bottle. The bottle is too high to reach. I better knock it down. If you knock it down, it's gonna break. Fountain, the landing. Let's go to the fountain. Wait, is this the same fountain? It's a fishy! I can't catch it with my hand, it's too slippery. Yeah, no, fish are hard to catch by hand. Yeah, I thought so. Did they have an outdoor theater in their yard? And a boat launch. Painter's case. Ah, oh, this is cool. Okay, painter's case is closed. We need fuel. Does this have fuel in it? Uh, I guess not. Okay. That's a pelican. I should drive the pelican away to examine the bar barrels. Chew. I bet if I yelled and waved my arms, it would run away. A magnet. The rope isn't long enough to reach the boat. You are correct. Somebody locked this lantern. There's a bell. I could attach the boat to, to the ring. Wait, I could attach the boat to the ring, but I need a hook with a long rope. Okay, I thought they were gonna say to ring the bell and I was confused. <laughs> Is that a doll? Little creepy dolls. This is a plastic car. I I don't know. Maybe this is the sixties and they just like to dress up. Aircraft? That's an airplane. <sighs> okay. Scroll. Owl. There's a dragon. There's an owl. Clock. That's not a clock. Pumpkin. I don't know. This is very weird. Birdhouse. I mean, it was supposed to be happening in the past, but even if the present day is like the 60s or the 70s, then this stuff wouldn't... Well, I guess this stuff might be around, but like, why would they be dressing all old-fashioned-y? Alright, I need a cricket and a quiver. Where's the quiver? Where's the cricket? There's a big stag beetle. Cherries, a necklace I thought I saw, yep, and a net. That's a spider web. Spider webs are like nets. Okay, what else am I looking for? Clock, cricket, and a net. Okay. 
Still not a cricket. Oh, there's the clock right behind the dragon. So I need a cricket and a net. Oh, there's the net. I saw that a bunch of times too. Is that a cricket? That looks like a cricket. Actually, that looks like a grasshopper. I don't know what it actually is. But crickets tend to be solid color and dark. See, that's a grasshopper, but they're gonna say it's a cricket. That was definitely a grasshopper. A small bolt is holding the metal lever. I can't tear it off. I need to unscrew it. Now, wait a minute. Didn't we need to unscrew something in the last part? And we didn't. Maybe we're gonna have to go back to the uh, other memories? Good, I'm not making that up either. It's been a long week. <laughs> All right, now we have a file, which I guess we can use to... Totally could. Not gonna do that. That was in the present? Okay, maybe, yeah. Here's the pelican. I need gas for the blowtorch. I need a key for that. And there's nothing else here. Can I use this on this? Yeah, okay. Now I have a funnel. Because none of these games trust us to actually use or pour things without spelling. Oh, I got a net for the fishy. Fishy! I caught you, fishy. You are now pelican food. What is a funny looking fish? You're just gonna stay there? Okay. It's fine by me. Okay. A bear. A lighthouse. A jump rope. There's a rope rope. Well, we fed a pelican. That's not... I mean, it's the same thing. But it, it's a different frame of reference. Blackberries, onion, squid. There's a lot of stuff in this picture. There's a crab. Coffee bean. Uh, post office. Like the whole post office? Okay. A whistle. There's the lighthouse. Uh, let's see. A hinge. Actually, I thought I just saw a hinge. Maybe not. A radish. It's a weird barrel of stuff. There's a chameleon and a crown. Okay, a bear, a jump rope, an onion, and a squid. Oh, it is the whole post office. A bear, a jump rope, an onion, and a squid. There's a jump rope. There's a potato and a pretty duck. Is that an onion? That's a garlic. That's not an onion. Let's see. A squid. Are you a squid? No, you're a bear. Are you a squid? I think you're a shrimp. Lots of chameleons. There's another one. At least I assume- oh, there's a squid. I'm looking at the chameleons. <laughs> Alright, a coffee bean and a whistle. There's a whistle. And a hinge. Again, I thought I just saw the hinge. There it is. I did see it. And a radish and a crown. Coffee bean, radish, crown. Coffee bean. That's a weird apple. Radish. And a crown. There's the radish. That is a tiny little radish. Alright, and a crown. Up oh, there's a crown. Oh, that must be one of the buttons for whatever that board thing was. Which was this way? No, that was downstairs. Okay. Oh, this is easy. What the heck is this? <laughs> I have a feeling there's a, a thick layer of grease paint on the clown's face and it's hiding something. <laughs> Dust it off. I don't know, it's creepy. Oh, here, I can dust this off. That is a sad looking feather duster. Oh my gosh. There's a clown. One, two, four. Okay. Oh, that's easy. 
Very weird stuff going on in here. Wait, is that a radio? Maybe we are in the 60s. Carrot. I don't know why I spend so much time trying to figure out what period of time we're in, because I don't think the game designers ever know what period of time we're in. A shield. A dice is a dinosaur. Don't need a dinosaur. I need a hookah, though. I think it's a heating. Either way! <laughs> Uh, that's not dice. That's a domino. And a spring. There's a spring. And an eagle. And a pyramid. And a stamp. Which I thought I just saw, but maybe I did not. And a garlic. And a... That's a... That's a sushi roll. Well, there's a dice. A die, it should be. And a kitty cat. Kitty kitty. That's a mouse. Sushi. I haven't had sushi in a long time. Is that a cat? No, that's a cat. That is 100% a cat, isn't it? Isn't that its tail? Maybe not. Oh, there's a cat. Alright, a cannon, a shield, and a garlic. A cannon, a shield, oh, there's a stamp. Cannon, a shield, and a garlic. There's a cannon. That's an electric light, too. That wasn't until the turn of the century. There's a garlic. They got it right this time. And a shield. Please shield. Yeah, that's definitely newer stuff. Now, why are there light bulbs over here and candles over here? The clown in the mirror is much scarier than it is in reality. I don't know, it's pretty scary in reality. I don't know. I don't know. I... I, I don't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I have failed you all by not knowing. Is there anything over here? No. I won't start without a lever. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Okay, we can go open up the painter's box over here. I don't know what's going to be in there. <laughs> Solvents. Right. I mean, I could put solvent in the blowtorch. That'd be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and we can open up the lantern, which is locked for some reason, and steal the candle. Okay. That we need a screwdriver. This we need a rope and a hook. Candle coats in the pocket. The blowtorch needs gas. Oh wait, maybe there is gas in the gas can and we just needed a funnel. Yep. I should light the blowtorch to you. No, you should light the blowtorch when you are going to use the blowtorch. You should not light it ahead of time. Put the candle back. <laughs> Alright, is there anything else over here? Or is that just the fish? It might have been just the fish. Okay. We could light one of them on fire. Um, we could melt off the grease paint? No, I don't think so. It's an aerosol. And what is going on? Oh, this is much worse. Ugh. I hate these games. I'm bad at them. It's like I understand the concept, but I'm good with that. What are you going on about over there? It's a mechanical demonic clown with gun in its teeth. Okay, when it's down to one set of teeth, you could totally pull the damn gun out. I know, right? Which is what I'm gonna do. Oh my gosh, that is so much worse. That's worse. Why do I have a gun now? Alright, 
are we done in here, please? Yes, thank you, good. Should I shoot the board? Or light it on fire? I have no idea. This is very weird. Okay, so now we have a gun and a blowtorch. But we need a rope and a hook and a screwdriver. That would totally work. I don't know what I need the screw for, but that would work. Okay, that doesn't sound like a good use for a blowtorch, but yeah, I guess. That's not why you use it. I could have done that with the candle. I didn't need a freaking blowtorch. Now I have a hook, but I don't have a rope. I just lit the rope on fire. Okay. Engines used to lower the hoist. It's a bit rusty. Burn it. <laughs> or shoot at it. Alright. Uh, no, it's, it's just that. Okay, now I have a hook. Yeah, if that's not enough. I realize that. <laughs> hey, I'm not trying to fix things carefully. I'm trying to um, save my sister who died already. Alright, I think I need to figure out what, what on earth is going on here. That must have been an amazingly rich day for Louisa. Performance in the family amphitheater and an incredible meeting with a young man who conquered her heart. Louisa always, Louisa was always a romantic soul. It's no surprise she would fall in love with the at first sight. Gray must have impressed her with his chivalry. She told me in her letters that he was her destiny. We're in her memories, our twin sisters' memories. She died on her wedding day. Someone pushed her in the river. The water in the aquarium is dried up and only some coral and pirate's chests are left. I have dim memories of father painting the miniatures for it. That was before he seemed to change. What a sight for sore eyes, our family amphitheater. Louisa and I spent hours there. We used to put on little plays and invite our parents' friends to watch. What's strange is that someone covered up the prompt box with a metal plate. That's the per that's a perfect engine. I was always curious how this technical wonder worked. Works. Now its small gears move and produce mechanical sounds. Or how its small gears move and produce. Sound. Now it's so old nobody's used it in years. This clown looks more sinister than silly. I wonder what's underneath the thick layer of grease paint caked on his face. That's not the first thing I wonder about this. Oh wait, so this is metal. No, that's... No, that's definitely... Actually, I can't tell. If they're boards and they would burn well, then they're not metal, they're wood. Okay. America's harmonica. That's not how you say that. Harmonica. Um, an orange. There's an orange, but that's not an orange. A butterfly, right there. A horseshoe. A screwdriver. I need a screwdriver. There's a screw. Do I need a screw? Okay, I do need a screw. Where's the screwdriver? Mm, do not see it. Oh, wait, is that it? No. Okay, uh, candy. Treble clef. Oh, I need the treble clef too, don't I? I've lost my train of thought. A hobby horse. Ha 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 ha! Wise guy. Ooh, there's a train! And a tambourine. Okay. Oh, there's America. Okay, harmonica orange horseshoe screwdriver. Harmonica orange. Actually, those look like lemons, but it might be oranges. Harmonica horseshoe screwdriver. And candy. I want some candy. Actually, we have a whole bunch of Girl Scout cookies. 
that we just got in the mail today. So many girls. Oh, you're right. So many Girl Scout cookies. And that is totally what my dessert is going to be after I eat dinner. Yes, okay, you have them in your office, but they are still available to eat. I'm the one that ordered them. I imagine there are less than before, yes. I assume that the children's ate more since last time I saw them. Where's the damn screwdriver? Screwdriver. Why do I not see it? The hit button being on this side is really messing me up. Ah. Oh. Okay, so now I have a screwdriver, which was for what? Oh, for the... Why do we need to take apart the bench? Or the swing, I guess. We have a handle. Oh, okay. I got it. That's for this. I mean, we could have used a stick, probably. The engine won't start up with it. That's the lever you... <sighs> okay, I guess we need oil. We have a gun and a screwdriver and a hook. But we do not have any rope. Nor do we have anything else. I could, that's four feet down. I could literally jump down there, grab it, and climb back up again. Shoot the leper. <laughs> could shoot him, he's probably the bad guy. Oh wait, go back. This thing. I have to shoot that. I don't know why, but I do. Now I have a sharp thing. What did I need to cut? A rope? No. We're done over here, right? Yeah, okay. And we're done over here. Wait, there's some rope up there. There's some rope over there. There's some rope right there! <sighs> and, oh, we already decided we're done with the fountain part. We're done with this. There's rope on the curtain. It's not the right rope. All right, what? There's nothing in here, except the creepy clown dude. This is the notes. We need oil for the thing. There's lots of rope in this level. Like, a butt ton. I have a broken bottle and a screwdriver and a hook. And I'm supposed to- oh, there's a freaking oar I could use to reach out and get it too. Alright, what am I supposed- to oh wait, let's check the diary. Maybe- nope, never mind. Nothing here. Alright. There's a swing on the playground. Where? Does anybody else see a swing? Okay, this swing. I didn't realize that both sides weren't... ...metal. And I thought they meant a kid's swing. And why did we need to do that anyway? All right, a pin, a bullet, a hedgehog, a bell, a bottle of wine, a lizard. Oh, there's the hedgehog. A bobber. I mean, there's lots of these guys. Is that a bobber? No, that's a top. Uh, let's see. A flask and a muffin. Muffin sounds good, too. I'm not hungry. Here's the flask. 
an egg, a hairbrush, and an oil can. There's an oil can, and a hairbrush, and the eggy. Oh, is that the bell? That's the bell. A bullet, a bobber, and a lizard. All right. There's another apple. There's lots of apples in this game. There's a clam. You need a bullet, a bobber, and a lizard. Bullet, a bobber, and a lizard. Here's the bullet. That's a shotgun bullet. And a bobber. Bobber. And a lizard. Alright, where are you, lizard? Lizard, lizard, lizard. Where are you? That's not a lizard. Those are a bunch of fishies. That's an old-fashioned life jacket. Huh, there's a lizard. Move. That's a lizard? I don't even see his legs. Okay. Alright, now we got the oil for the machine. Okay. It is a very tiny lizard. Alright, and now I got the handkerchief. Woohoo. I've clearly underestimated your skills. This isn't that hard. The handkerchief contains a message, though it may be used trivially. What? Okay. And I can use the broken bottle to cut the police tape. I don't know either. I'm slightly confused by that. Hang on, let me dust this off. Okay, I need two more fuses. I don't know what that is. But... And I have a screwdriver. Did I need a screwdriver in the real world? I thought I did. And, like, seriously, we could have just jumped down. If all we needed to do was get the handkerchief, we could have just jumped down and grabbed it. It would have taken two seconds. Okay. Let's go explore up here. A gramophone. Someone's taken the gramophone handle. Of course they have. To the corridor. Yeah, this house is an awful lot of disrepair considering the the sister was living here the whole time. This is my father's room. Why is it locked up so well? Why is the whole house destroyed? My mother's music box, but where's the ballet dancer? Faith, is it some kind of message? Probably. A lock piece is missing on the left side. Chest is fastened with screws. Ha ha! Oh, it's been an hour and a half. All right, all right. I guess we should stop. What is that? Oh, it's a fuse. Let me just see if there's anything else in here. I don't think there is. Nope. All right. Let's head back to the main menu. So, that was weird. Apparently, there is a evil demon or something for no apparent reason, and he doesn't understand difficulty levels. Maybe he didn't read the player's guide. I'm not entirely sure. Or a dumb sister. I don't know. I think we're the dumb sister. I don't know about this. Also, if someone killed our sister, and the first memory we go to is her getting engaged... Why would you think that the next place to go after that would be further into the past instead of forward more in the future? Like, wouldn't whoever killed her and everything that has to do with that probably take place after she got engaged rather than before she got engaged? Like, that doesn't make a lot of sense. And I don't know. I have, and I have no idea what time period this is taking place in. I think I've decided it's taking place in the 60s, but I don't think the game thinks that. <laughs> it 
unless our sister is some sort of reenacting reenactment fan, which I guess is a possibility. Though I don't think they did that a lot in the 60s either. I don't know. There's no modern stuff. But there is like police tape and plastic toys, which would be something that would be happening in the 20th century, not the 19th century. Sneakers, that'd be another one, yep. So, yeah, I I don't I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> this game is definitely confused me. All right, so that was fun. We shall have to do more. What we're going to do now, well, not now, now, but in the future, is we're going to go in order. So the next one we're going to play is Haunted Hotel. And we're going to finish up Haunted Hotel, and then we're going to take that one out of rotation until we catch up with the other two games. So it's going to be Haunted Hotel, Mystery Case Files, Mystery Trackers, Grim Tales, and then we'll, like, cycle through. Except when we finish the most recent Haunted Hotel, we'll stop with that one and then we'll just do the other three and we'll figure out what order everything well I'll figure out what order everything has to go in so that we get the cameo bits in a way that we actually understand what's going on and suddenly James doesn't appear in a game that doesn't have James in it normally because <laughs> that that was very that was a thing that happened <laughs> I know you're mad about James. I understand the situation. It's fine. Everything will be fine. <laughs> At least he got a haircut. All right. I guess we will end that so it's not fine. <laughs> okay. You, you, you'll be good. It'll be okay. I promise. All right. I'm Fate Touched and I will see you all later. Bye.